Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to this video and um, um, I hope you are finding the uh, the series useful and in this video um, I'm gonna show you how you can write your own custom local checks um, to be performed on the uh, the client machine. Um, okay, so in my previous video I showed you how to add a host to monitoring so I did um, an Ubuntu host and a CentOS um, host and um, it should still be in there HTTP Ubuntu VM production okay so that's their host so I have got uh, two hosts CentOS VM uh, with 19 services all green and Ubuntu VM with 17 services all green and the whole um, earth icon itself is green so they're all looking good now we've got uh, two clients added and uh, if I go to the hosts and um, services so these are all the list of services that the um, agent uh, gave us so these are the default services that can be done um, on the host when you install CheckMK agent. Um, there are also lots and lots of um, built-in plugins, CheckMK plugins that you can use. Uh, but for example, if you want to write your own script, if none of the plugins satisfy your needs, um, you can write your own custom uh, script and you can add that as a service check. So that's what we're going to see in this um, video. Okay, so back in uh, the uh, terminal um, I'm gonna use a file I've got a couple of files in my github repository so if you want it you can download it from my github repository which is git clone https github.com just me and open source OMD monitoring so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, write a simple bash script um, and also show you a simple Python script so it can be any programming language any language you want it's just an executable script um, I just need to make the uh, script executable that's it and you have to put it in a specific directory on the client machine um, so that on every CheckMK agent run it executes all the scripts in that directory um, if I go to Vagrant SSH Ubuntu VM02, for example. If I do check mk underscore agent grep for local, so that's where you need to put your uh, scripts in. So if I go to cd user lib check mk agent local, so there is nothing at the moment. I'm gonna um, have a script here a bash script here and uh, I'll tell you how we can use that bash script so in my github repository OMD monitoring I've got the miscellaneous directory and I've got a couple of files here so I'm gonna copy this file into that virtual machine I'll show you um, what this file basically does so one thing you need to remember is if you want to use your custom uh, script it can be a bash script Perl script Python or any script it has to uh, match the uh, the output that's expected by CheckMK so basically when you run a script it should output uh, something that has to be in a specific format so basically uh, the CheckMK expects four uh, values from your output first is the status uh, which can be 0, 1, 2, or 3. 0 is OK. 1 is uh, warning. 2 is critical. 3 is unknown. So your script should, um, whatever logic you place inside the script, it should output the first uh, parameter as first value as the status. The second is the name of the um, the script or name of the CheckMK uh, plugin, service check, or anything. Third is the uh, the performance value. So if you've uh, got something to be monitored, say for example the number of processes um, or something, um, you can output that as the third value. And uh, when it comes to the uh, the dashboard, when your 
um, checking the status of that service uh, it also gives you a history um, you should have remembered the uh, the graph that I shown you for every single uh, let me show you here so these graph icons here it shows you these graphs these are the RRD graphs uh, it's showing here so for these RRD graphs you need to have that uh, value but that's optional and fourth is any random text that you want to display so it all makes sense when I show you an example I'm not good at explaining things but I'm really good at I hope good at explaining how it works not in words but in action okay so let me show you my bash script first file check bash it's a very simple bash script that's all it is I'm doing a service check. I'm creating a service check to, uh, to check if there is a file in slash temp um, slash temp hello if the file exists then that's good so that's the service check if the file doesn't exist I need to be alerted with a critical alert so 0 is for OK 1 is for warning 2 is for critical 3 is for unknown basically for this check it's gonna be either one of the two values either the file is present or file is not there If the file is there status is 0 status is OK if the file is not there then it has to be a critical status which is status 2 and um, I've given a couple of uh, variables status and status text uh, if the file exists slash temp hello it will have the status as 0 and the status text as hello file exists and if it's not there and the status text will be hello file missing and the important bit here is whatever your script returns so as I said it has to be four values first is the status whether it's 0 1 2 or 3 um, second is the um, the check name file check underscore hello it can be any name the third is the performance value I'm not going to um, have a graph historically for this one Th that doesn't make any sense so you have to put a uh, dash that's it and finally just a meaningful message saying why it failed or why it thinks it's in a, in a good shape so that's it and if I run that file now I don't have the file temp hello it's not there so if I run bash file check so it um, echoes the output as two file check hello dash and hello file missing so this is what we are going to add um, in our client machine so we need to keep the script in this directory user lib check mk agent local so I'm in Vagrant. What I'm going to do is I've got the uh, Vagrant SCP plugin installed. Vagrant plugin list. So I've got the Vagrant SCP. So I can copy this file from my host machine into the virtual machine using Vagrant SCP file check bash. I'm going to copy that to the VM Ubuntu VM02 to user lib check mk agent slash local a regular environment or target machine is required yep I need to specify which virtual machine I need to vagrant SCP uh, nope I don't think vagrant help SCP VM name colon remote path. Okay, I think that's what I tried. Uh, I think I'm not in the right location. I need to be in the Vagrant provisioning directory. Vagrant SCP and file check is in miscellaneous directory. Permission denied. Okay, I know because that's protected. Let's copy to the temp directory. Okay, that's copied and back in Ubuntu VMO2, it should be available in slash temp file check. Okay, I'm going to move that. 
sudo temp file check dot bash to this directory. Okay, I'm on user lib check mk agent local, and in here I've got this file file check bash. So we have added our custom script to this directory. Now what we need to do is we have to head back to the uh, dashboard, go to the hosts, and we have to do a service discovery to discover this um, service. So on Ubuntu VMO2, I'm going to click this icon to do a service discovery. Um, why is it not appearing? Uh, I know why. I have to do the full scan. Okay, no. Full scan. So I'm on Ubuntu VMO2 and it should pick that. Okay, let's go back. I think I need to make it executable. Change mode plus X file check bash okay and if I do full scan now it says file check hello so that's the um, service check name and the check plugin is I'm not using any of the check MK plugin so it's a local plugin I'm gonna add this to the monitored service so you can do click this little green icon Okay, and if I go to check MK, you can see that's because I haven't applied my change. Activate affected. Okay, so that's done. And if I go to check MK, um, there is one that's in critical state, so which is here. The host is Ubuntu VMO2 and the service is file check hello critical. Hello file missing. So hello file missing. So that's the uh, the status text that we gave. Uh, the status text which is hello file missing and it's critical because it's two and it doesn't find the temp hello file. Okay, so let's create that file and see how it changes. Touch temp hello, so that's there. And let's refresh it. Let's reschedule this check. Okay, so that's gone. And you can see there's a little red dot. If I refresh it, that should be gone. Okay, so now back, everything is green. If I go to host, 18 service checks. So where is it? File check hello. So that's the local check that we added. And it won't have the uh, the graph icon here because we haven't added the, the third value, which is the performance um, data. We haven't added that. Now it says the status is OK. Hello file exists. And you can see the history of events for the last four hours. You can see 91 seconds ago there was a critical service alert for us and now it got result because we touched that file. So basically that's it. And this local script can be any script, whether whether it can be a, a bash script, Perl script, Python script, or anything else. So if I go back to the miscellaneous directory, the other file I've got is a Python file. Basically the same functionality, same service check, but written in Python. Import OS, os.path.exist. If it exists, then status is zero, hello file present. Otherwise, status is two, which is critical. Hello file missing. I'm passing three, um, four values. Status value, name of the check, performance data is dash, and finally, the status text. And for completeness sake, I'm going to copy this one as well. CD to Vagrant Provisioning, Vagrant SCP, Python. Okay, sudo copy, let's move it, sudo move temp um, file check Python to dot 
change mode plus x file check python and if I run this file file check python app get installed python it should have got python installed python 3 okay app get install python yes so it's always a good practice to verify your local script uh, before adding it as a monitored service python file check python so zero file check hello hello file is present okay let's go back to the dashboard and add this service go to hosts and do a service discovery do a full scan full scan full scan no that's not the one full scan file check hello okay I think I should change it vi file check because it has got the same check name sudo vi file check python I'm going to change the service name to file check python okay if I do full scan there it is file check python I'm going to add that to the monitored services apply the changes activate affected activating and um, if I go to check MK so now there are 38 checks if we go to host so there are 19 checks for Ubuntu 02 and file check hello so that's the bash uh, shell script check file check Python so that's the Python shell script check so let's delete that file rm minus f temp hello and let's do a check again okay all hosts Ubuntu file check hello I'll just reschedule a check I don't want to wait for it okay so now these two are in the alert state so there is the uh, critical alert and if you touch that file so that's basically how you write a, a custom uh, local plugin using any any programming language it's just basically a script with um, four values in a specific format cool um, I think that's it I wanted to show in this video and uh, thank you for your patience and um, if you don't understand any any of the concept or if it's not working uh, the way I showed you here please drop me a comment I should be able to respond to you and um, as always, if you like the video, please um, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Um, I've got a few more videos to um, upload. And I think my next one would be about configuring LDAP. So I'm going to have an LDAP server and uh, use that as the authentication. So at the moment, uh, we've got just one user, CMK admin, uh, which is a local user. And I'm going to tell you how you can integrate your existing um, identity management um, services like Active Directory or LDAP. Um, most probably, I'll show you how you can integrate LDAP um, for authentication um, into your CheckMK server. Cool. Um, thank you so much for your time watching this video, and I'll see you in my uh, next video. Bye-bye.